I know, I know, I'm, I'm, I know I'm going to hear about it. It's been a while. I haven't done a video since I talked about my uh, exploring my options about going to another country and so forth. And I've had several people write to me, Don, you're moving, you're moving. Why are you leaving? And so forth. And everybody completely misunderstood that video. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about Sue and Phil Jordan. I did an interview with them a few months ago. There are a the couple that they came here from Canada. They moved into a condo on the Monte Cristi golf course up in the, the golf resort up in Monte Cristi. I did an interview with them, meeting our neighbors and so forth. So, well, since then they have built a house, okay? They built a house on the Monte Cristi golf course and I had Sue take pictures weekly pictures which she didn't do weekly but she did them often enough and she sent them to me and i made a time lapse video out of the progress showing their house being built they don't build houses here the way they do in north america folks it's completely different no wood frame no steel frame no none of this stuff it's all styrofoam metal lathe concrete uh spray on you know plaster paint and that's the way the house is built. And I believe that makes it safer in an earthquake too. So anyway, if you want to talk to Sue and Phil, uh, please leave questions in the comment section, okay? If you want to talk to them about them building their house, I know there's a lot of people that are interested in this topic. You want to come here and explore the possibility of building your own house. It's easy to do, folks. Land is very affordable. Building material is very affordable. You would be surprised how little it costs to build this beautiful home that you're going to see here in just a minute. So when I come back, I'll start the video. And if you have any questions, if you want to talk to Sue and Phil in detail, send me an email. I will get in touch with them and have them reach out to you. Okay, because I don't want to broadcast their email address. It just opens them up for getting spam and bullshit email from people that they don't need okay so i'll be right back hey hello there Hello, Francisco. So let's do an update for today. Um, looks like the tile, the baseboard is on at the front um, entrance and the tiles are still pretty mucky, but you know what? We'll, like I said, we'll have faith in things for now and we'll deal with it later. What is exciting is that the cabinets are starting to go in and it looks like they've got uh, several coats of the I don't know, whatever you call it on, the white stuff, let's say, but that's on and it's all done in the kitchen. And they're working on all kinds of wiring in the ceiling. 
So that's good. Into the social bathroom. So they've started working on the wall tiles in here. And they're kind of all over the place, but that's, I guess, how you guys work. Looks great. Um, we have taken and put the floor tiles into the little shelves just to give it a contrast. We like that idea. So I think there is just tiles around um, like the shower in this bathroom. And this room is pretty much done with all of the baseboards and everything. Yes, it's pretty much there, I would say. Then we go into Shelly's room. Just doing my, you know, my house stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> so how long have you been in, live, actually living in the house now? We moved in on the 7th of July. So we are coming up to two months. Okay. All right. And I guess you're happy. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> this has been the most amazing opportunity to... Yeah. Um, this is the first home that Phil and I have built. Yeah. And, you know, to take a risk and build in a foreign country has been an incredible opportunity. Sure. And I bet it had its challenges too. So explain to me why the high cabinets. The well, cabinets if, are a lot higher than normal. Yes. If, if you look at me, I'm fairly tall stature. Mm -hmm. So we decided to add um, a little bit of height to our cabinets just so that it fit our, our stature. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then the appliances that you put in, well, actually, what is this symbol here? You know what that means? I don't know what that means, but this is actually a plastic sink. It is? It's yes. plastic? It's plastic. It's a high-grade plastic. Oh, my God. Do you have a garbage disposal? No, we don't have... No a, garbage disposal? No, well, I mean, just under here. Yeah. We did put in a filtration system, mm -hmm. the reverse osmosis. For the water? Oh, yeah. 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 So, but you do have a dishwasher. We did. We had to add the dishwasher um, because we're blending North American and Ecuadorian. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you have an oven. Yes. And your exhaust vents outside. It does, yes. Unlike so many places that I've seen in town. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, the appliances in Ecuador are actually incredible quality. Mm -hmm. We're really, really happy with them. Don't run away, Phil. Come on back. <laughs> Where did he go? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, we purchased them through Omas mm -hmm. and uh, we got a really good package because we bought everything, you know, all at one spot. So, um, and they delivered, they, they delivered, delivered they hooked everything up. Um, yeah. There's warranty on them. So, yeah, we're really, really happy with the appliances. Good. Good. And then you got, I see you have a Whirlpool washer and Yes, dryer. we do. Whirlpool yeah. washer and dryer. Yeah. Let's go, let's go in there for a second. Oh, right. Go take a look. Yeah. The lights are just... Let's turn some lights on. You have a door here. This... So this is your laundry room. This is the laundry room and, and a pantry. And a pantry. Room. And then this door actually just goes right outside, right by the front door. Yeah. So you come in and out of this door. We probably. use that most of the time, yeah. 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 So... 
Whirlpool. I didn't know that you could even buy Whirlpool. You can buy Whirlpool. You can get Samsung. You can get LG here. Mm -hmm. That's some of the, the products. Yeah. It's like vehicles. They have a good variety of them. Right. And then this is your master bedroom. Yes. What a nice room. This is just the right size. You know, the whole thing about this house is we wanted a very conservative home mm -hmm. and we're happy with how everything has turned out. Mm -hmm. It's the perfect size for us. It's about 107 square meters yeah. <clears throat> or in Canadian terms, we talk in feet. So yeah. about 1200 square feet. Okay. So all perfect. on one level. There's no stairs as you see. Yeah. Um, one of the things that we chose for the flooring was a textured floor. Yes. So that... Uh, Which is unlike anything you see. Yeah. And to put this flooring in is so cost effective. Tile is incredibly cost effective here. Yeah. So the cost for our entire house was about $1,500. That's amazing. It is. Yeah. One room would be over $1,500 in Canada to yeah. do tile. So. And then of course, <laughs> here out of your bedroom window you got this fantastic well, view. Well that's the whole reason we bought this house yeah. was because of the view. We love to golf course, so yeah. we've got the view of hole 11 and then of course the Monte Cristi mountain. Sure. I noticed that when you're over here on this side of the house you can see the church steeple. Yes you can. You yeah. get a bit more of a glimpse of the church. So sure. what is this on the wall here? What's oh. playing that? Mm. Yeah. That was a piece of artwork that Phil gave to me. Yeah. And if you look, it's the it's a picture of a man and a woman, and he's kissing her on the forehead. Mm -hmm. And that's what he does at nighttime. He gives me a kiss on my forehead. Oh, wow. Yes. So it's just an abstract piece of metal artwork that was yeah. here in, in Ecuador. So. Oh, amazing. Okay, so then this is the master bath. And you got your closet. So you got his and her yeah, walk closet. through closet. Yeah, walk yeah. through. And Phil chose to do the um, sliding doors. Yes. Because, of course, they take up a little less space and it's, it adds some architectural interest. Mm -hmm. We did the floor to ceiling tile. Yeah. Because the paint here can sometimes be a bit of an issue. Sure. Um, however, we chose also the Sherwin Williams. You can get that here in Ecuador. Mm -hmm. um, but the tile is so cost effective. Again, yeah. a yeah. couple hundred dollars to do the entire bathroom. Right. And we chose the white so that it's, you know, gives some light and it's a bit um, reflective. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And then we put in the um, skylight also for natural light. Yeah. And then, of course, another thing too, now, Phil and I were talking about this a minute ago, that you don't see in very many showers in Ecuador. And that's that thing right there where all your shampoo and stuff mm -hmm. is. With the wall shelf. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. A so, wall shelf. Yeah. yeah. And he said that the builder... It cost him like less than ten dollars or something to add that. Yeah. So now he's going to start putting it in all of his houses. He's going to make a, a kind of a, a standard. standard yeah. yeah. Well, what it's a just, deal. It is. Yeah. It's an amazing deal. So. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Well, this is really nice. Yeah, this turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to. Excellent. You know, of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, we remember seeing when we first started filming out here and looking at the construction materials. It was this foam. Mm -hmm. The panels. Foam X or the foam. Sty styrofoam. Yeah. It had metal on the outside. And then that's what all the walls are constructed of. But that's yet correct. when you when I tap on this, it doesn't sound like solid concrete. No. It sounds like a normal wall. It but does. But this is plaster here. It is. Right? Yeah. It's plaster. This is cement. Yeah. Right. And then there is um, a plaster over top, to, yes. so it smooths out the cement, yeah. right? And then you paint yeah. the plaster. Well, yeah. you put a, yeah. um, what do you call it? <clears throat> a primer, yeah. and then you paint. Okay. So All yes, right. um, yeah. But I mean, it's very solid construction. Mm -hmm. um, it's also, I think the house would probably be a lot warmer if it was without the styrofoam. So it okay. does help with insulation. Yes. And sound. It's not that hollow sound. Yeah. So. So I noticed now you have, mm -hmm. oh, you do have an air conditioner in here. Yes, we do. Yeah. And this is something that you don't see in the United States very much either, or North America, You'll maybe in Canada. The central air, which yeah. is tied into your, air. Yeah, your heating system. Here you have an AC unit in each main room. Mm -hmm. So there's the one right there in the living room. Well, and again, if you talk about cost, Don, yeah, they're yeah. hugely cost effective to put yeah, these in. Yeah. So central air in Canada, um, you know, we, we actually had put some into our home just before we left and it was about $5,000 wow. to do that entire house, yeah, right? Yeah. So these are um, 
well, I mean, they vary, but you can get them as cheap as two hundred dollars, up to a thousand dollars per per room installed. Yeah. And great and then quality. where is the compressor? It's on the, the roof. The compressor is on the roof. Yeah. On the roof. So, yeah. So it's out of the way, out of out of sight, out of mind. So do you have a compressor for each unit? Yes. Okay. So, yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, and they run independently. Which is kind of nice because if one breaks down, you still have the other one working. Precisely, yeah. yeah. Instead of one compressor breaking down and the whole house the is whole now house without is AC. Down. Yeah, for sure. Well, this is beautiful. Okay, well, I'm so glad we finally got to see this from start to finish. And this is the way you do it in Ecuador. Yes. I don't guess you care to talk about costs. Or do um, you? Or yeah, will what, you? What we can ballpark? talk about. Yeah, I mean, we can talk kind of yeah, a ballpark. Yeah. Um, so it's it's difficult to say exactly what every house is every house is going to be different. Mm -hmm. So our finishes are quite conservative, yeah. and I would say um, it would be in the range of around eight hundred to nine hundred dollars per square meter mm -hmm. okay. to, to do the house. So, okay, and that is um, Very completely finished, yeah, right? Complete. So turnkey, yeah. you walk in and it's ready to yeah. go. Yeah, and now you bought this land here. Just to remind my viewers, they're on the Monte Cristi golf course here. That's correct, yes. And you are in, this is called an urbanization. It's an urbanization, And yes. what's the urbanization it's called? It's called Colinas de Capoc. Co Colinas de Capoc. That's correct. Okay. All yes. Right. Cool. This is really nice. So, why the big giant front door? This is something that... That's a huge door. It's a massive door. and. Uh, you oftentimes see this in a lot of the Ecuadorian homes. Uh -huh. um, to me, it's uh, a big welcoming door. Yeah. And um, it's kind of an architectural feature as well to yeah. have the size and yeah, yeah. it's, 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 it's always a conversation piece, right? Sure, so. sure. Okay, well, thank you so much. I think we're done. I, I'm just, I can't wait to show this to everybody. It's going to be exciting to see what kind of feedback we get. You know? It will be exciting. Yeah. And I want to yeah. say to you, Don, thank you. You've been out oh. kind of in bits and pieces and, um, you know, given us yeah. a little bit of uh, profile for this company. It's something that um, we really believe mm -hmm. in the Home and Ecuador team, of course. Yeah. There's a lot of trust. That's the company that built That's the house. That's the company yeah. that built our, our home. Yeah. 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 Um, Byron and Francisco are the owners. Okay. They've worked together for about five years. We'll put a link in the description. That would be so, wonderful. So I'll get yeah. you to send that to me. So, you yeah. know, the one thing you talked about was challenges. Mm -hmm. And of anything that came about, of course, is the language barrier. Yeah. In the end, it really isn't a huge challenge because we've mm -hmm. got technology. Yeah. And so we can use our Google Translate. Sure. Um, Francisco speaks fluent English, so if there was any questions or whatnot, he spent a lot of time with us, mm -hmm. um, either on phone calls or with WhatsApp or, mm -hmm. you know, video chat. So... There's always that connection piece, and right. we, all, we felt very much supported as we were yeah. building this home, and um, appreciated. Right? Yeah. The company really appreciates having their clients, and they take very good care of their clients. Yeah. So that's the one thing I can honestly recommend them um, to build your dream home good. in Ecuador. Good. Good. We'll do that. We'll 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 promote them. Okay. So, okay. All right. Thanks so much, Sue. You're welcome. See Thank you later. You. All right. Ciao. Bye. <laughs> so that's it. It's a nice house. I went out there, Stella and I went out there and had dinner with them a couple weeks ago. Beautiful place. I'm telling you, it's quiet and it's on the golf course. They are, I believe they built the first house in this urbanization. And it's, I tell you, just, I, I can't imagine uh, it being any better. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, bite me, okay? And I say that with peace and love. Oh, and by the way, i got to tell you, I finally ventured out, took a little road trip. Stella and I went to a Yompi for the weekend last weekend. I did some video of it, and that's going to be the next video. So hopefully I'll have it ready in a few days. You're going to be surprised to hear what I have to say about a Yompi. Okay, see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.
Ja. 